Hey, welcome back to Magland. I'm MagWW, and today we have a little bit of a special video. Every every video is special, but today we are doing the top 10 eco hacks. This is going to make you a master player in no time. I promise you. So let's jump quickly into it because I want to keep these videos as short as possible. So come on, let's go. Hacker number one. Trees fall in the direction of your first strike. It's true. If you're sitting next to something that you don't want the tree to fall on that, just swing in the direction that you want to fall and it will go in that direction. So long as it doesn't hit another thing. So remember that. Plan where you want it to go and it will fall in that direction. I promise. Haku number two. The unstuck elevator. Have you ever been walking precariously on the edge of something with nothing around you and accidentally fallen in? Oh no! Well now, go underneath something, type forward slash, unstuck, and voila! On top of the world again, ladies and gentlemen. Hakuya! Number three! Find a cart via your deed. Now, if you're anything like me, and you're dumb as hell, you'll forget where your cart is all the time. But no problem. Simply open up your deed. Go for Deed for MagWW's Power Cart. Right here it says 12.9 meters. 12.9 meters, that sounds really close. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. And the map will come up. A. Hmm. Oh, right. There it is. Hack number four. Hit a stockpile to receive the first item in the list. Now, I talked about this very briefly in a previous video, but if you forgot, if you go up to a stockpile and make sure that the very first thing in that stockpile is what you want, say, hewn logs, then you go up to the stockpile and click on it. Bam! Hewn logs. Very first thing in the list goes into your inventory. Hack number five. Always max out efficiencies. Now, if you have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, good thing, because now you should learn this. The bottom middle section of any kind of specialty tree will have efficiencies. Now, this is so important. Make sure you max these out. A lot of the times in the beginning of the game, I was like, why would I ever spend any time or points into efficiencies? Don't think that. Max out efficiency is always in every profession. Hack number six. Learn how to pick up your land claims. All right, this one is going to be a two for one. People always ask me, is there any other way to see what claims are on the ground without looking at your map? Yes, it's called keep one property claim. Always keep one. Always. Always keep one. Now, if you want to also learn how to pick one up, go over the particular area, press B, Go to your deed, right click on it, and go to this very lovely button called Unclaim Current Plot. It'll pick it on up. Wow. Hack number seven. Get some money. Learn how to use the economy viewer. Now, if you didn't already know, there is a button down in the bottom right called Economy Viewer. Let's go ahead and click on that real quick. Why don't we? And we'll get a little bit of lag because my server has so many people selling things. Come on, baby. There we go. Nice and slow. Really quickly, first right off, if you want to find something really easily, click on this button right here and this will make it into alphabetical order. Much easier to find things. But that's not where we're going to make money. That's where we're going to find things. Go to Wanted. If you're a new player on a new server, well, on a, on a good server, you got to have a good server to be able to do this. But if you want to make some money in your new player, go to this Wanted tab right here. You'll see so many different things that people are buying. People want to buy things. Is that crazy? So go ahead. Find these things. Brick, lumber, boards, acorns, turkeys. People buy stuff. People will pay you money to bring them things. It's a good way to make some money. Another way to make money is in contracts. Go complete a contract. There's so many of them. Payment, 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 payment. It's a good way to make money. Go out. Go do it. Figure it out. Hack number eight. Config your waypoints. 
Okay, now there are two ways to leave a waypoint. The first one is go down to your map, click on drop waypoint, bam, waypoint, hello waypoint, nice to meet you. The second way to do waypoint is type forward slash mark, Woo! two waypoints, wow, getting a little crowded around here. You want to remove one, click on them. This is all the tutorial, it's easy. Now the more complicated things is you can leave a title. This isn't important. Now, all of these things are a little bit important. If you're the server leader, you can leave a place where everyone can see. Display off screen is a little important because, oh, turn away, I don't see it. But if that's on, turn away and, oh, yeah, it's over there. This is important. This isn't important. Oh, that's not great. And finally, display in the distance. If you're pretty, if you, if you want to know how far away you are, you can click this button on and off. Finally, click copy to click keyboard and look. This is where I am, everybody. This isn't important. Wow. Then why are you telling me about it? Hack number nine. Dirt to dirt ramp disposal. Now this one is actually very useful. You may have a large amount of dirt that you don't want. Now in order to get rid of that and put it in a very, very convenient uh, place to store, turn it into dirt ramps. Now, in order to do this, you need to make sure that at one point in time, you can forget about this when you're done, you have learned road construction. Once you learn road construction, you can de-learn it. You, you need to put just one point inside of it, and then you can uh, be able to create dirt ramps forever. So, put some dirt inside the pile, go up to your workbench, very important, workbench, press F on it, lag a little bit. Now create workbenches. You can see that I have 998 and now whenever I throw any amount of dirt into the stockpile it disappears. Bye bye dirt. Thank you for coming. Hack number 10. This one's real quick and then we're done. Learn how to give reputation. This is kind of important, kind of not important, kind of cool, kind of not cool. Check it out. Now this one's gonna be quick and easy. In order to get reputation, all you need to do is you need to come down here and you need to press this button at the bottom right or press O. You'll see that all the names are slightly different colored. For example, mine is red because I am shunned. I have negative 61 points. It was on purpose. But if you get positive, you get to be green. Okay. So in order to give reputation, all you got to do is click on someone like my good friend Talios right here. And you can go ahead and give him a certain amount. You can give 10 per day. I've already given five. I'm going to give Mr. Talios one point. You can even give him a review. Build me a goddamn road, sir. Give reputation. Boom. Done. Cool. Well, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informational. Now, a few honorable mentions before you, before you go away. You can't throw away items. You can't drop them. You got to put them in a the chest. So remember that. But everything has a use, so don't worry. And the other one was copper and gold is almost totally useless. Don't come to me and be like, Mag, I found some gold. I found some gold, Mag. Do you want some gold? I don't want your gold. It's too much gold in this game. So on that note, thank you for watching my video. Please like my video or please dislike my video. I don't care. I just want you to uh, actually tell me your opinion. And if you want to keep current my videos, go ahead and subscribe. All right, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.